Hello class, this video is about revising essay two, and it has to do with revising step two, clarify, how to revise your outline. So essay two is our longest paper of the semester, seven pages or more. So you might have, I don't know, 10, 15 body paragraphs, okay? So organizing is a big deal for a long paper. So I wanna give you a couple tips based on what I saw in the outlines during week 10. Okay, so tip number one, broad, vague topic sentences are useless. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what I mean. So this is gonna be my bad outline sample. All right, so, um, each body paragraph is about something very specific. So if your outline looks like this, it's not gonna work, okay? So let's pretend we're doing topic number one about police brutality and the black body. So your thesis is Coates is justified in his claim that blah, 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 blah. Okay, so if your, if your topic sentences for the parts of your essay look like this, then you'll need to revise. The black body is targeted for destruction. Well, that's, that's Coates, that's his thesis for the whole book. So that can't be a topic, that can't be a specific body paragraph. A body paragraph needs to be about something, just a small piece of the overall pie. Here you're, you're telling us what the whole pie is. Uh, the police are often racist, way too broad. You need something specific. So when you're really outlining, it means you're choosing a specific thing for each body paragraph, okay? So you don't want to have vague statements like this in your outline, because then you won't be organized. Your essay will not go well. All right, let's now look at a good outline. Okay, let's look at this one. So same topic, topic one, Coast is justified as claim that blah, 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 that's your thesis. So let's say your part one is gonna be about Prince Jones. So these are better topic sentences. So each one of these is a paragraph, a whole paragraph. Part one isn't one paragraph. It's, it might be like three pages of the essay, okay? So A is just one paragraph. B, different paragraph. C, different paragraph, okay? Now you're really starting to make a plan for a long paper, okay? So you might have a whole paragraph just saying that Coates finds out about the killing of Prince Jones. This is kind of like setting the stage. You're giving the information, what happened, right? And then next paragraph, the killing of Prince Jones was wrong. So you're going to defend that claim. You're going to explain exactly why it was wrong to kill Prince Jones. Paragraph just for that, okay? But then you might have more to say, and Coates does have more to say. So you might have a third paragraph about Prince Jones. In the case of Prince Jones, or sorry, I have a typo here. Da, da, da. I'm always fixing things, right? Fix things as you go. The case of Prince Jones is tragic because, and for that one, you might just have one quote, one of those juicy ta quotes, quotes, one quote that's, shows how terrible it was, right? So you might have a whole paragraph just for one quote, okay? And then maybe there's something else. The killing of Prince Jones also shows that. So you have to decide what you wanna say, okay? So to summarize, tip number one, no broad, vague topic sentences that you haven't organized yet if you're doing that. So the police are often racist. Whoa, that's too big. That's not gonna be one paragraph. But you could have one paragraph arguing that the killing of Prince Jones was wrong, right? And that fits into your overall picture, but it's more specific. And that's what good outlining does. You're choosing a specific thing for each 
paragraph. So this is a lot of work, but your essay will be great if you do this. All right, this leads me to tip number two. So I'm going to show you all this. All right, here's tip number two. For a long paper, divide into parts. Then each part will have more than one paragraph. So notice for my sample, I decided that Prince Jones was going to be a part of the essay, not a paragraph. Because remember, your essay is long. It's going to be like eight pages. So part two will be about something else. And then each one of these is a paragraph, okay? So by dividing into parts, you're, this is like the overall structure of your paper because you're planning a long paper. But then each part will have more than one paragraph in it. So once you start doing this, then you're really making an outline for a long paper. Okay? So try it with your paper, and I hope it works.